loves and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. My name is Jessie, so glad to have you here. All right, so today we're going to create a blue and black um, smoky eye. Um, I know my last video that I recorded, um, I was creating a pink and blacky smoky eye black and pink smoky eye get a little bit tongue-tied there um so today we're gonna do blue like a bluish black and then we're gonna add some rhinestones to it and you guys will see as one um as we go on what i'm gonna create so i already done my brows and all that fun stuff pounds my eyes my moisturizer so we're gonna go in with my neutrogena primer and we're gonna put some of this on my face And then also, I did put um, a new product that um, I wanted to take a little bit of time to go over with you guys. Also, um, this I got sent to me. Um, it's called Herbie Air, and it's um, a hand. A, oh, sorry, a lash enhancer and an HD mascara. So I've been using this for the last couple days to help my lashes get fuller and a little bit longer and stuff because I have really brittle eyelashes that fall out super easy. But it's an easy thing to do. It comes with a mascara um, and a lash enhancer. So this is the mascara and then this is the lash enhancer. So I will include more information about this in case if anybody is interested, um, I'll include the info in my bio link. Alright, so we're going to go in and I'm going to use my rainbow palette. Um, not sure. I think I got this palette off of King Beauty because um, I bought it a while ago. So I don't really remember where. I purchased it from but we're gonna go in with this light blue color right here as our base And I'm going to get my blending brush. And I'm just going to go over this blue and kind of blend it out a little bit. Because it was a little bit darker than I actually thought it was going to be. But Alright, so that's it for using that palette. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is kind of going in and out on me. Um, so next we're going to go in with our O Abbey palette. This palette is from Spoiled Cosmetics. I just love the multi-chrome like call like cover. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then, well, if I can open it. And then these are the colors. I'm trying to show you guys the colors without kind of blinding you. So yeah, it's super gorgeous. So we're gonna go in with this blue right here. And this is called Tiffany's, is what this color is called. And we kind of don't want to put the color all the way up to our brows, but we, like, we want to blend it out a little bit to where it's, like, close to it. Because we're going to leave room to add our rhinestones. All right, so I know I'm using like multiple palettes for this, but all the palettes that I use for this look will be included in the bio link or in the description box, I should say, not bio link. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm using my Oasis 35 palette um, for the darker gray. Um, it's the Do Not Disturb. 
My cat's trying to get in here. And we're just gonna gently blend this in to the blue. <laughs> she made it in here. And we're not gonna go any darker with this. So I'm just using the one color for our outer corner. All right, so then next we're gonna add our rhinestones. Then we have our IMV Kiss product glue. Oh no. Totally dropped some brush. I shouldn't have done that noise because now she thinks I called for her. Ugh, my hair is driving me crazy. <coughs> okay, so now that we have our rhinestones done, we're gonna go in with my Calligrapher eyeliner and we are going to do our wing. Okay, and then we're going to go in with our CoverGirl mascara.
Okay, and then next we're gonna add our lash. Oh, this lash is not wanting to stick. Okay. Ooh. My eye does not like me today, I guess. It is just. Okay, so I'm gonna do this eye off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have my other eye done, we're gonna go in with our foundation, which I am using. I wonder if which I'm using the Maybelline matte foundation in the shade one one ten. And then my beauty blender.
Okay, so now that I have that done, my rhinestones look completely off. We're gonna go in with my concealer. Okay, so now that we got our concealer done, we're going to go in with our contouring. Okay, so next we're gonna move in with our setting powder. Okay, and then next we're gonna go in with our blush. And I'm using the Siete London blush called Matchmaker. And then next we're gonna go in with our highlighter, which at, before I do that, I am going to do my eyes or the bottom lashes.
And then I'm going in with my highlighter. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with our um, setting spray. Okay, and then that pretty much completes the look for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If so, please give me a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.